Hello guys, welcome back to High Tech Institution YouTube channel. Of course, this is all of your favorite uh, uh, YouTube playlist. I know that AWS troubleshooting part eighth video. So I am happy to share the information. Of course, we have small gap. So this is the eighth video. In this video, right, we are going to talk about that is an important topic. Okay, which is Amazon RDS. Okay, in this video, I am gonna tell you the troubleshooting steps. Certainly, when encountering database connectivity issue with your Amazon RDS instance. Okay, so this is the error. So I have Amazon RDS instance, Microsoft SQL, or you take anything, Aurora or MySQL, whatever SQL related engine, when you are encountering and connectivity issues, how are we going to troubleshoot? This is the troubleshooting scenario number eight. Okay. Fine guys, let's get started into the video and uh, solution for this. Uh, before that, I would, you know, uh, appreciating all of your uh, response for past seven different scenarios is what we have seen. I'm really happy. Uh, sorry for the small gap what I've taken for making this eighth scenario. Uh, keep continue your support, which will motivate me to make another upcoming videos and do subscribe this channel and uh, like this video if you really love it. Troubleshoot your AWS RDS database connectivity issue. So we have various points to discuss. So first we need to check the RDS instance status. Of course, yes, I love to take you to the uh, database now. Okay, let me take you up. So give me a sec. So if you go back to my AWS console, uh, this is my database. Okay, this is my database, high tech DB and uh, the status is available when you are facing any issues yeah see you can so if you go there so this is the error i'm getting currently okay from here i'm trying to connect it when you click on okay after i give the uh, endpoint url see if you go there so this is the endpoint and uh, okay so this is the endpoint when i'm trying to connect the db right it is taking time and uh, which is throwing an error says the database is no, not able to connect. That is the issue we are facing right now. Okay, I can lively show you the error. So it's gonna come up. It's taking time than usual. Yeah. This is the error what we are getting cannot connect to high tech database yep uh, we know that so when we are facing this error right first step what you need to do you need to check the status of your rds instance whether it is the status is available or you know uh, offline or not available or any error comes in the status that's very important okay make sure your rds server is in available state okay once you are fine and done with this what next you need to do okay i'll switch back to my uh, presentation all right so let me go and uh, later. So we all know uh, what we have uh, discussed in the, uh, you know, specific uh, point one. Okay, I'm gonna uh, share my presentation. Uh, give me a sec. Yep, I'm gonna share my presentation here. You can see point one, check RDS instance status. Yeah, when we check in the troubleshooting point one, RDS instance status is active. Next, right, I'm gonna uh, check the subnet and the VPC configurations. That's very important, right? Obviously, when there is a connectivity issue, we need to look into the subnet and the respective VPC configuration is all properly present or not right so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take you into the uh, uh, other scenario uh, if you go to this instance uh, if you come down you will be able to see the subnets over here and the vpcs over here so what i'll do i'll take this in new tab so already we have a dedicated video uh, how to troubleshoot vpc and how to check the connectivity and all so you can, I'll share that uh, link in description. Go ahead and have a look on it. Uh, this is the eighth video, right? If you people missed the previous seven videos, different troubleshooting scenario, those links also I mentioned in this video description. Okay, make use of it. So if you go there, this is your VPC. Okay, let me click on the VPC. So if you go there, uh, I could see, you know, this is your CADR, uh, 172.31, all good and uh, this is our uh, no, resource map so these many subnets are there subnet one two three so where straight away we can compare all three subnets okay 79 b308 all are present over here 79 all this is the route table 
okay three uh, you know subnet associated and two routes are included everything right looks good uh, once i'll validate the route table as well and the routing as well as subnet association everything okay looks like uh, all the subnets are uh, explicitly associated so if you wanted to associate right bring it you can try it yeah uh, maybe this could be the issue let me associate it and uh, yeah we'll check the subnets the internet gateway everything present everything active there is no back hole so once you have done and then you can go ahead and try to connect with your rds instance okay let me click on connect mm. looks like that's not a fix maybe it'll take some time it's gonna throw you the same error why i'm telling if it is gonna connect right in one spark in one second right it will get connected so that is the issue so this is my one of my easy to instance okay this is my one of my easy to instance so here is my web application available hosted from this web application only i am trying to connect my rds okay my web application initially failed in connecting the rds that's what i am manually trying okay fine so uh, even the change what you have done right uh, that's not works again it's giving you a uh, same issue all right so whatever we have done uh, that's not you know uh, works for now so point one and two right so there is no much different even after you uh, uh after you update the uh, thing right uh, in terms of route table uh, which not makes any difference okay so now obviously we need to go for point three for checking the another scenario what could be the possibility all right so in this case rds database endpoint of course yes in your application side and uh, from your sql manager uh, whatever the endpoint you are using make sure that is the right endpoint because there may be any any anything missing or if you are trying with the wrong endpoint or there is a typo in the endpoint that could be the another reason you won't be able to connect it so where we can check right where we can check it up so go back to the rds if you click this is your endpoint okay copy this endpoint and double check with the instance where you connect okay so so here see we can verify it high tech db uh, cl80 looks like the same right so still we'll copy and we will try it once maybe there could be the typo since its endpoint is a little bigger right so we'll try to connect i don't think so uh, this not works even we have validated this is a proper endpoint only so next step what we can do even it going to give you a same error it seems so next step what we can do probably we can move back to our presentation uh, where we have checked for the instance status and uh, probably you know we have checked for the vpc and subnet uh, configuration post which data point you are database uh, endpoint url also looks fine there is no issue so obviously we need to go and check for the fourth scenario fourth scenario username and password yeah that is a basic uh, when we are trying to connect right the database username and password should be correct one so let's validate and check so for that right if you go you would able to see the database username and password probably i have no okay so here is the place where i can see uh, my username and password got stored so exactly what i'm going to do now so this is a username and this is a password so let me open since i've already you know provided a proper url and admin is the username and let me copy the password along we can't connect when i'm trying to connect the database looks like it's not an issue with your uh, database username and password so since i created this database server so that's where i know uh, this is all going to be uh, what a username and password i configured if it is some other person in your environment who configured right you need to make sure uh, to get him the right uh, database credentials okay that's very very much important so again right it's still loading so i know that it gonna it will not work because if it works right in this time it could have uh, worked okay fine guys if that is not gonna work right what we need to do so we have tried various steps uh, like uh, point one two three four all those things were not worked next step right what i'm gonna do so before we are going to the fifth, fifth step i wanted to show you something i'm gonna start a new program uh, which is for internship opportunity you all know i am planning to uh, start one internship program guys i am planning to start one internship program 
this internship program exclusively for practical thing okay because in this video you are getting theoretical thing theoretical content but when you wanted to practice it right right so i'm i'm going to give you daily basis one one live project scenario to you in the internship program okay so how it will be it will be like you know around uh, one month of uh, duration it is daily i need one hour of your commitment it could be morning or evening afternoon whenever you are free whichever the country you are located that's not a matter i need one hour of commitment to you so what you need to do daily basis in online either through email or through whatsapp i'll be sharing you the internship task to you daily basis client requirement i'll share it to you in your aws account okay we'll set up a free tier account on the aws account you need to implement that okay i will log into your account i will validate it whether you have completed the task properly or not daily basis i'll give monday to friday the weekly five days right i'll give you a task daily new new scenarios you'll have to implement in your account i'll validate it every friday i'll connect you in live okay so i'll validate i mean if you have any questions or doubt if you successfully completed and implemented the scenario that's fine if you are stuck anywhere you are not able to do you know in live i'll jump in i'll explain you in every friday okay so what is the prerequisite for uh, being part of this aws internship program so you should know aws concept basic at least okay you should have one degree and you should know the basic concepts of aws only then you can understand the task what i'm giving it to you okay so very limited seats are available per internship program i'm planning to take you know uh, 10 members okay not more than that and uh, the program fees the training the entire internship program it's not a training i'll not come i'll not take you sessions and all only directly i'll assign your task if you are working in a live project what kind of task you will get i'll directly assign your task you'll have to complete and show me if you're stuck anywhere i'll help you on that is the way uh, we are planning to have it limited seats are available four triple nine i have decided for uh, batch for the entire internship program i think it will be a very minimal it should, it should be let's see and whoever interested right you can see registration can be you can just whatsapp to this number 9360477164 you can whatsapp to this number so that i'll be uh, you know adding you into my uh, internship program batch all right let's get started i think this will be a really a good hands-on experience to you if anybody not having uh, good hands-on make use of this opportunity that is what all i wanted to say okay all right guys hope you got some idea about internship opportunity now we can continue our troubleshooting this is the point five <coughs> connection limits so we need to check whether your uh, rds has any connection limit and it has overloaded with lots of people are trying to access how many people are accessing the rds currently so see if so many people are accessing your uh, database server uh, lots of connections are made already in the sense so this will also could be the another reason where you won't be able to connect it since already it's busy right you won't be able to connect it so where we can check if you go there see connectivity as of now it's a zero connection only so but in production there should be many people are already accessing your uh, database so in that case where there are so many people are accessing your uh, database also the uh, busy uh, connectivity also may uh, cause you an issue where you won't be able to connect it for now right we don't have any issues uh, this is not going to make us any issues okay so we can sit back and uh, we can confirm this is not going to be our uh, issues okay so uh, connectivity uh, here is the place where you can check okay so fine maybe we can go back to our uh, presentation and uh, we can uh, you know uh, check what could be the uh, next uh, point all right okay so here you can see connection that's not an issue now we are going to check the security group rules of course yes we do have a databases and the ec2 instances we are connecting right so we need to check for the security group the respective port has been opened or not for that what i'm gonna do here i'll go this is my database right come there here you can see the uh, security group and this could be your port number 1433 so let me open this in new tab looks like we need to go to inbound yeah i could see the port has been already opened right see you can't edit inbound i could see the 1433 port has been already opened here in inbound it's open let me check the outbound okay 
uh, here you can see okay it's you can check it's all open so that's not an issue so uh, rds side database side right your uh, uh, thing as perfect now you can go to ec2 instance okay when you go to the ec2 instance right uh, so here you can see the security group by the way uh, sorry here if you go to the security tab you can see it let me open this in your new, new tab where you can see oh my god so here uh in inbound it's open only 3389 but fine that is fine but still we'll uh, but it's optional only it's not mandatory we need to open uh you know the 1433 <coughs> but still we can try it uh, by giving all access okay it's optional but we can try it and uh, parallelly we'll also check uh outbound that is role is open why because from our ec instance uh, the outbound is uh, important see here also they have not you know provided all access looks like double three eight only available here i'll go in the outbound also i'll add okay one four double three four double three so this is the important thing to note let me save the rule once i saved right yeah quickly i'll go there i'll try to connect my database now i'm okay and the click on connect yeah see it's worked so this is the issue with my application server ec2 servers so ec2 servers uh, uh, connectivity and things and stuff uh, so where you can <coughs> see now it's got connected all right so of course yes guys if this also not connected right i do have a couple more you know things to check and troubleshoot uh, maybe i can show it that to you uh, let me open my presentation again like uh, where you know uh, i can even show you that up so if you can see uh, connection we checked the security group if that also not well, luckily for us it's worked uh, inbound and outbound after i open the concern port right uh, it opened and uh, in in point seven right if that not work database engine specific uh, troubleshooting which means that uh, if it is my sql or if it is a microsoft sql right based on the database engine right we will be uh, getting uh, that the package right now i'm trying with the ssms right so we'll be uh, getting that uh, another package for microsoft uh, uh, sql another package for workbench for uh, aurora or uh, mysql postgres sql so in the tool right i need to go and check whether it is the updated one how it works okay database engine specific i need to go and check on it so if that also works fine right finally i need to check for the database engine logs that's uh, common right everywhere if that also you log also you are not finding anything useful obviously we need to reach out to our aws support team only they'll come and they'll help mm. so these are the troubleshooting areas guys uh, we need to check on okay and uh, finally uh, if you are uh, checking your application server and your <coughs> rda server in different different vpc in our case both of them same vpc only so same vpc mean we don't want to worry about acl uh, so when it is a different different vpc right you need to check for the peering and the vpn connection if you are trying to access from on prem this networking area you need to check okay these nine points you need to keep in mind when there is a rds database connectivity issues okay fine guys if you need any other topic any other service you need specifically looking for uh troubleshooting video like that mention in the comment section i'll prepare a video i'll share it with you okay and also do like and share this video and subscribe to this channel and one another thing to you people <coughs> okay uh we have a whatsapp channel uh, by the way we are having a whatsapp channel uh, in that whatsapp channel right daily basis uh, we are updating some aws interview related content and uh, we are updating uh, interview related stuff so i have you uh, know in the description i'll share the whatsapp channel link okay if anybody uh, wanted to get the notification of the interview data interview questions uh, those things right join that whatsapp group so uh, whatsapp group uh, whatsapp channel it's not a group whatsapp channel so you'll be getting uh, updated in the channel okay fine then thank you for watching and uh, subscribe to this uh, channel